That's right. Mission Shenzhou 10. China is all set to launch the Shenzhou 10 spacecraft later this month. It's going to carry three astronauts to the Tiangong 1 Space Lab module. Several missions in space, including a rendezvous and docking with the Tiangong 1 Space Lab module. Astronauts will carry out experiments on the Tiangong 1. The preparations for the launch have entered their final stage. The Shenzhou 10 has been assembled and the Long March 2F carrier rocket has been transported to the launch site. That's at the Jiuqian Satellite Launch Center. The Shenzhou 10 will conduct several. Crew have been doing simulator training on the ground, and right now they say they're ready for the mission. The Tiangong 1 has been brought down to a docking orbit. It's ready for the rendezvous and docking with the Shenzhou 10 that's going to happen uh, in the next few days. Meanwhile, search and rescue teams are on the job for the Shenzhou 10 mission. The initiation ceremony has been held in Shanghai's Waigo Chao dock. Uh, rescue ships number 101 and 112 have set off to join the others. A marine network has been set up. It will search for and collect fragments that fall from the spaceship. It will be on standby if the astronauts need to use the emergency return capsule. The 200 nautical mile network spans from East China's Jiangsu province all the way to the island of Guam, which is in the West Pacific. The Rescue Bureau of the East China Sea was also in charge for Shenzhou 7, 8 and 9 missions. So, how about spending your life working and living in a remote desert? Now, that's what thousands of scientists are doing at the Dongfeng Space City. That's China's first spacecraft launch center deep in the northwestern deserts of Inner Mongolia. The nearest city is two hours away by car. Our reporter Wang Xinye went to ask some of the scientists just how they're coping with their life on the base and what made them choose their job. Software engineer Dr. An Jinxia is a key member of the data analysis team for China's Shenzhou Tan program. Her expertise means she's played a part in every one of China's manned space missions. But she never envisaged a life in the desert. Dr. An has a PhD from Tsinghua University in Beijing. She married in 1998, but her husband came straight to work at the Dongfeng Space City while well, she remained in Beijing, finishing her degree. Then the chance came along to join him in the desert. My husband and I married in 1998, but didn't live together. I really want to stay with him. So two years later, when I was given a chance to transfer, I came here from Beijing immediately. She's now the mother of a nine-year-old. But it's not just family ties that keep her here. I like what I'm doing, and I enjoy working with those who've given a lot to China's space program. I feel proud to be part of it. Others arrived at the base by a different path. Qi Chudong joined the Space City's technological department last year as an engineer. He grew up in Guangdong province, but decided to move as far away as possible from China's prosperous southern coastal areas. He says he was simply curious to experience a different lifestyle. Many young people find life here very boring, especially with the lack of nightlife. But I like the quietness here. I grew up in Guangdong and have been so familiar with urban life. Now I want something very different from that. There is not much entertainment in this small city. Some even say life here is dull. But people like An Junxia and Qi Chudong rather enjoy the simplicity. They say the sense of achievement they feel from being a part of China's space dream can easily make up for what's been missing in their life. Wang Xinye, CCTV, Dongfeng Space City. All right, so China's space ambitions go all the way back to the 1960s. The Jiuqian Satellite Launch Center, which is China's first la satellite launch center, has so far put into orbit 29 satellites, and that's where the Shenzhou 10 will be launched from. Our reporter Tang Bo filed this report from there. About 20 minutes' drive from Dongfeng Space City is China's very first satellite launch center. It is called Base 2, where China started its space program in the 1960s. Once fully occupied with the country's top space scientists, it's now only guarded by six soldiers. The chief designer of the Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center, Xu Kejun, used to work there, and he tells me why people had to leave. After decades of operation, launch facilities at Base 2 became less suitable for more launch missions. The old umbilical towers and related facilities couldn't meet the needs of the new launch technologies for China's manned space program. 
That's why we need to build a new launch center and abandon this old one. Although deprecated, Base 2 still inspired Xu on the design of the Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center. We adopted the vertical testing and short-term vertical transportation systems that were used at Base 2 in our design of the Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center. The new launch techniques actually originate from the old site. In total, 29 satellites were launched from the old site, not mentioning missions for launch vehicle testing. And this is the launch pad from where China's very first satellite blasted off in 1970. It's no longer operational and serves as an educational base. And in the more than 40 years since that launch, China's space program has made tremendous progress. Today, China is one of the major players in the space arena. Chinese communication satellites and weather satellites provide China and other customers with their valuable services. In 2003, China became the third country with a successful crewed space program by sending an astronaut into space aboard Shenzhou 5 spacecraft. Five years later, Chinese astronauts on board the Shenzhou 7 spacecraft completed their first spacewalk. In 2011, China launched the first module of their space station, the Tiangong-1, and successfully completed the docking with Shenzhou 9 spacecraft. China has also turned its focus to deep space exploration, starting with the moon. It launched the country's first lunar orbiter, Chang'e 1, in late 2007, making China the fifth nation to orbit the moon. Xu tells me that the old launch center carries the hard-working spirit of Chinese space working staff, and that will continue to inspire more people to contribute as China's space program moves forward. Tang Bo, CCTV, Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center.